Hi, I'm Dr. Marty Ross. This video is about glutathione. I describe why you might want to use it in a Lyme disease treatment. I also talk about the various ways that you can take it, including oral, uh, breathing treatments of it, and IV, and why you might want to use one over the other. If you like what you see in this video, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can keep up with all of the information I have when I post it. And if you need more information about glutathione, click on a link that I have to a full written article included in the description for this video. Treat Lyme is supported by purchases you make through Marty Ross MD supplements. Glutathione is a very powerful antioxidant, okay? It's made in every one of our cells and it's used by cells to fix damage. All right. Um, the other thing is it's made in high concentrations uh, within our uh, within the liver and it's used as the main um, uh, detox agent uh, that the liver uses to detox chemicals out. Um, it's really useful in the nerve and brain tissues to help repair damage as well, too. OK. And because it's a, an um, antioxidant, it's very effective at lowering oxidizing agents that are triggering your uh, white blood cells to make cytokines. So it's another way that we can lower inflammation cytokines in the body as well. So I love glutathione for many reasons, okay? I have a whole article about benefits of glutathione too, and I'll show you that in a second as well too. But the problem with glutathione is getting it absorbed, getting it into us, okay? And that's because if we take it orally and it's not specially prepared, it will get destroyed by the acid in the stomach. And so there are ways that we can minimize that. And one way is to do something called liposomal glutathione. Liposomal glutathione is glutathione that's microscopically wrapped in fat, okay? And so, for instance, one of the products out there is a product by Research Nutritionals called TriFortify Orange, TriFortify Watermelon. Research Nutritionals has done some studies looking at what happens with red blood cell levels of glutathione uh, and somebody taking their products. And what they found is that actually you do get significant elevations of glutathione in the red blood cells. That suggests that you get good absorption of liposomal glutathione out of the gut, okay? So if you're going to do an oral version, I think liposomal is the best way to go. Research Nutritionals has got some science suggesting that they get pretty good absorption, all right? All right, but the strongest way to make sure you get glutathione in you would be IV because that gets it right into the bloodstream. That can be expensive though, all right? Another option is to do what's called nebulized glutathione, and that is you breathe a mist of the glutathione, and you use a machine called a nebulizer. It's like this, about this big. It has a, it's an air compressor, basically. It blows air out through a small tube that connects to a small chamber, and you dump your glutathione liquid in there. It has a mouthpiece on it. You just breathe this, the, the mist that comes off, all right? And that gets it deep into your lungs, and then once it gets in the lungs, it's absorbed into the bloodstream. So it's another way of getting it kind of more quickly into the bloodstream, all right? So that's probably the second strongest way of getting a glutathione in. And then the third strongest way would be the oral glutathione. I have never seen any studies that tell us what an equivalent dose is of oral liposomal glutathione versus nebulized glutathione. I honestly don't know, okay? What I can tell you is what I saw clinically work in my practice, and that is I found benefit using five milliliters of uh, liposomal glutathione, which I believe is about 500 milligrams of glutathione, okay? Or I would have people do 400 milligram uh, nebulized treatments of glutathione twice a day, or if I was to do IV glutathione, I'd go really high. I would dose that at about, um, oh boy. I'm going to blank. I, I have it in my article. I'll, I'll show you the article here in a second so you can take a look at it. But usually when you do IV glutathione, you only need to do it once or twice a week. Okay? All right.